at this point we may consider uh, equal height columns. Like we want all these to be of equal height over here underneath the footer. Um, this isn't going to be too hard because actually it's already been done for us. So if let's go to the article where we found the Holy Grail. Now is ALA a list apart Holy Grail layout, and in that article that we found all this info is down at the bottom. You'll see adding. Let's see, creating equal height columns. Okay, equal height columns. Now. It, this is so easy because literally all we need to do is take the code it has right underneath this section, equal height columns, just copy it and then paste it in our CSS. And I'm going to just put over here creates equal height columns. Once I save this, let me look at my Holy Grail layout. Look at that. That is pretty slick, eh, with the exception of now our footer lost that padding that it has, or that, that spacing. So what I'm going to do in this case is I could simply add my margin top to this thing, and I'll add five pixels, and that should do the trick. Nice, there we go. So there's a space, there's a space. Let's make sure all this is going on throughout all the browsers. Got a good space. And finally, in Safari. Excellent. So at this point, we want to consider, uh, I'll just say, this equal height column thing isn't going to allow you to round the borders down at the bottom because it, it's it's an equal height column that are, that are going to be flexible if you look at the code really what's happening it, it's adding it's a it's a negative margin trick where it's pushing basically the padding all the way down at the bottom and then it's saying it's putting the padding just a bit more than what the margin is and it's always like so it's like 20,000 pixels down below so it's just saying um, basically really 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 big so it'll probably never uh, go past that um, that height so if you're going to use the equal columns thing you may want to reconsider uh, your rounding now what I've done online with my other design is I've actually kept a little bit of round I I've implemented the equal heights on this particular version of it, I've implemented the equal height column, but what I've done is I stopped rounding out the corners of my columns here, and I only rounded out the top with the footer, the top footer, fo I'm, I'm sorry, the top header, uh, uh, rounded out the top, and for the footer, I rounded out the bottom. And I did that by editing the um, the JavaScript, the, the rounding corners that actually does it, and here's the code that's rounding those. So whichever way you go, you want to do your design. See, it says 12 pixels top, 12 pixels bottom for the header and the footer. And anyway, whichever way you want to work this is up to you. It's uh, at this point, it's a stylistic thing, but just know, you know what? Maybe there is a way to round it out but I don't think there is with using this particular equal heights, uh, equal column height method.